Hi there. I'm standing on the back porch of Clifton Mill in Clifton, Ohio. This is a beautiful old 1800s grist mill with a covered bridge behind it over the Little Miami River. It's a little loud out here and unfortunately uh, it's a little dark in the porch so the background's kind of washed out. But let me show you how beautiful it is here. Look at that wheel go. The old covered bridge. And you look down at the mill race. And down the river to the gorge. It is what I would call gorgeous. Sorry about that. And here's the upper part of the wheel. Neat old 100 year old technology, 200 year old technology, really. And this is the historic Clifton Mill. Giant old red structure. There's a little gift shop in here. And a very nice restaurant with hearty breakfasts and lunches. I highly recommend the Belgian waffles. You get two of them for like $7 and they're giant and delicious. You can get blueberries or bacon, whatever you like on them. Very nice. This is obviously to keep cars from going over the bridge. Sometimes there's a little train that runs through here, but apparently not today. One thing that is definitely operating here is you can hear the cicadas. They're everywhere. Boy, are they loud. And here's the side of the mill with the mill wheel. And this beautiful old covered bridge. This bridge dates back to 1886, almost 140 years ago. Still standing tall. Doesn't go anywhere these days. Once upon a time it did. And out the window, an absolute million dollar view. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the mill wheel going off the mill race and flooding down to the little Miami River below. They still sell uh, ground cornmeal and a few other things here, as well as the classic old time candies, the root beer barrels and licorice whips and uh, hound and rock candy and all that good stuff. There's a wishing well. Luckily, I have a penny. All right, time to make a wish. I'm not gonna tell you what I wished for. Now, leaving the mill property, there's a number of really cool old buildings in this town. Great old shop here. Love the old rusting signs. Dr. Pepper, Matt and Bond cigars, Champion spark plugs. It's a great look. Should be an old barbecue shack in there or something. That would look fabulous. Maybe I'm just hungry. And here's a view of the rest of the town. Beautiful historic town small town. 
still gets a lot of people here to have breakfast and lunch at the old mill, of course, and shop at the general store. It's always pretty quiet around here, except today when the cicadas are out doing their thing. Look at this old blacksmith, established 1830. A shame they're not open today. That would be pretty neat to go take a look around, but beautiful place. Another old building, maybe an old warehouse from the days when this mill was hopping. Wonder what that top door up there is for. Definitely a long way down. There's a beautiful old house. Saw that before. And here is the Clifton, Ohio Post Office. That is literally all of it. It's such a tiny building. Oh my God, that's adorable. And that is literally the end of town. I love how tiny the houses are in this town. There's some big ones and some just adorable little bungalows. But, you know, in every town with just a couple hundred people, you don't always find an opera house. Can't say that here. The Clifton Opera House and Performing Arts Center. What an awesome thing for a small town to have. And here's the town kiosk with all the committee appointments and notices and events. A gazebo and a picnic shelter, a band shell, and some public bathrooms decorated with a mural. And one very tired cat. Must be their guard cat. Wow, listen to those cicadas. Heading over to Clifton Gorge, the thing that makes Clifton famous. Well, besides the mill and the opera house, of course. Ah. Two paths. Which one shall I take? I'll go this one. It's much shorter. Yeah. Other than that one hiker, no one out here but me and half a billion cicadas. And there is the view. all the way down. And back up again. Well, that's going to do it for today's video from Clifton, Ohio. We've uh, seen the mill, the gorge, and some beautiful old houses around town. The uh, blacksmith and the... Uh, Opera House and the Gazebo. Wonderful little town. Very close to Interstate 70, very close to Springfield, Ohio, and Yellow Springs and the Dayton Fairborn area. So if any of you are out here and want a little off the beaten path, fun town to explore and a great place to have at lunch or brunch, definitely can't recommend Clifton, Ohio enough. Have a great time when you come here and uh, tell them you saw it on my channel. Have a great day and see you next time.